Hello everybody, this is Pete from Golly Family Discipleship. Uh, me and Sean has been working all day building the uh, boys a set of bunk beds because uh, they wanted one. So we've been doing it, we've been wore out, we're just trying to uh, catch up here and get a video in. Uh, today's video is from 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verses 21 and 22. It's a scripture that in verse 22 it talks about how God has sealed us. He's put his seal upon us. Uh, if you guys ever watch westerns, I used to love to watch westerns, and uh, now that I got kids, all I watch is cartoons. Watch a lot of SpongeBob. Uh, we watch a lot of SpongeBob, a lot of uh, Paw Patrol. But at, when I used to like to watch westerns, and you learn from westerns that cowboys branded their cattle. They heated up an iron, they had their own stamp, and they would press it into the skin of the cow, and it would brand them. And to let everyone know that that was their cow. Uh, it wasn't uh, theirs to take, no one else's to take, it was theirs, it was sealed. Well, the Bible says that when we give our hearts to Jesus that we are sealed, his stamp of approval is upon us. It's kind of like a four-sold sign at a used car lot. You know, you put the sticker on there, bam, this is sold, it's no longer available, it's not for the world, it's not for Satan, it is mine. We are children of God. And you think about that and how we live our lives. Uh, we live our lives as if we own ourselves, but in actuality, we do not. God owns us once we give our life to him. We are his servants. We are his uh, children. And uh, if you go into uh, thinking about that, you know, one of the things that we realize is that whenever we own something, we take pride in it. Uh, we we kind of control how it's used. Like if you come into my home and uh, you, I expect you to obey my rules, I wouldn't want you to track mud in and just throw stuff everywhere or go through my medicine cabinet or my underwear drawer or whatever, right? It's my house. It's my rules. So, uh, and we should, we, and I wouldn't want you to, I wouldn't go into your house and expect it to be any different. Well, you know, uh, when we come down to it that we don't belong to ourselves anymore. We are God's. We should honor his will with his temple, right? The Bible says that we are vessels that contain the glory of God. The Holy Spirit dwells within us. God no longer dwells in temples made by men, but he dwells within us. And you think about that, and uh, we are his, and this is his home. And we should honor and uh, respect what he wants to do with his home. Uh, so going forward this week, you guys, uh, read the scripture every day, talk about it, discuss it, uh, have, uh, send us a message, shoot us a message or something if you have a comment or if you've learned anything. Uh, be sure that every day that you wake up, you encounter God, uh, you exalt God, you edify yourself by reading the word of God, and finally you engage this world. Remember, we're still struggling. This COVID-19, everybody's on quarantine. Give them Jesus. That's what this world needs. The world needs to hear about Jesus Christ. We love you until next time. God bless.